For almost three years, Wavy TV 10 has been reporting on the concrete mountain near the Witch Duck Road exit off 264. Well, the city of Virginia Beach took the business owner to court to force him to move the pile of rubble. Now, our Andy Fox has 10 on your side, a success story where all that material is going. Andy. Yeah, Regina, this is where it's moving. We've noticed a change at the mountain, so we reached out to find out what's going on, and what we found out was positive. We are four stories high, and that concrete mountain is higher than where we are. That was in August of 2019. Chopper 10 shows what residents called a 60-foot public eyesore. But two and a half years later, the mountain is moving. John Mamoudis. This particular project that you're looking at right now is uh, uh, an indication of our intention to do the right thing. Mahmoud is a spokesperson for property owner Mark Calcani. We confronted him when Virginia Beach cited Calcani for issues at the concrete mountain. Had you driven by in 264 and seen it? The yeah. condos over there? Yeah. The people who think it's an yeah. eyesore? Well, they bought the property, not me. Yeah, I didn't but, build the condos. They didn't I was buy there into, for 30 years. They didn't buy into that. We're getting rid of a, a pile that uh, some folks don't like. We're trying to Make sure that we're in compliance with the uh, city officials. Following that 10 on your side report, we are pleased to report progress. It begins with this dump truck unloading concrete. He's separating, if there's any debris that's unacceptable, he separated. The conveyor belt takes the stones, and on the left, you can see the stones dropping into this pile. That is the size stone that. They want to use. Here's the reveal of the story, though. Guess where those perfectly sized concrete stones that are getting scooped up, put into dump trucks, are going? To the Lynn Haven boat ramp and beach facility for the Lynn Haven River Reef Replenishment Program. And the city of Virginia Beach came to us to ask us about a certain size stone and rock that we could produce. That's right, the concrete mountain is now creating concrete reefs. We're creating the perfect size stone that they need and it's a win-win for everybody. It's a, it's a great project that the city's doing and we're, uh, we're happy to cooperate. Renee, Regina just said happy ending. Yes, now here is really good news from John Mamoudis. I asked after 10 to 12 years of this mountain of concrete, how long will it take to totally remove it? Mamoudis tells me six months. We'll keep you posted on that. I'm Andy Fox, Ted on your side. Good job.